So welcome everybody. Welcome to Hot Song Podcast. Today is July 4th, 2024. So happy Independence Day to people that are in the U.S. The topic for this evening is so energy. So for the past month, I've been talking about different ways that you can use to strengthen your soul energy to release anything that is weighing you your soul down. And so this is kind of the the, um, the episode where I would you know, kind of um, put it all together. And um, I kind of have, um, I just want to tell you guys my experience, my journey of, you know, working with so energy and all that. So that's why I want to um, share screen first. So um, let me just do this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let me just blow this up a bit more so you can see it. So everyone can see their 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 so their own soul energy. And I just want to go over that part first. So um when you close your eyes, you would see color. Um well when it is like if it's dark, like you know, pitch black dark room that you're in, then yes, you may not see any color. But if it's if there's any light or if it's during the day, you would see color. What the color is, is um, really determines where your soul energy is at, at the moment that you see it. And this is something that I've shared with all of you a little earlier on, um, like last week or the week before. So at first, you, so this is how you kind of have some idea where your your um, soul energy is um, at the time that you start the working with your soul. So you may see green background. So it may not be exactly this shade of green, but it will be something that is unmistakably green. So if you, or it could be black or it could be gray or dark green. So any of these um, description of color if you see that, then that, that means that you are your um, in terms, this is just a scale. And uh, in terms of it, so it's about 200 to 300. Okay, so on the scale of things, this is where you're at. If you close your eyes and you see that mostly it is red, then you're here. If you see white, mostly it's, it's never a hundred percent white. But you know, if you see more white than any other color, then this is where you're at. And see more blue than this, and then purple, and then light yellow, and then yellow, and then there's the golden yellow, which is kind of like a, a yellow red color. So this is this this is how you tell you know where you're at basically where you at. So what it looks like um, from Sifu James is like this. You would see as a background with some color and then you would see kind of your own silhouette and you would see your aura, whatever the color it is. So it could be purple, could be yellow, could be golden yellow or blue or any other color. So it will be like that. And for myself, though, what I find is, um, like, usually I would see a red background, which is, which is you know, day to day um, when I'm working, when I'm talking, when I'm, so I, if I just close my eyes, mostly I would see kind of a red color. And then um, if I start to, like do the breathing exercises, then I would see in the middle, then I would start to see a difference. I would see a color. 
and usually we start to get to be more of a um, cooler color, which is blue or purple. And then if I usually if I do more than you know, 10 minutes, then it will start the background All the background will also start to change color. So if the background would be more um, blues or, or, or purple, and you know, sometimes it will have you know, blobs of yellow, and then in the middle it'll be more yellow. And then the, the longer it is, like if I do that for at least 20 minutes, maybe 20, 25 minutes, I will see a lot more yellow in it. So that is what I, I would see. So that's for me. Um, and according to Seafood James, you're supposed to see yourself, but I, I don't think so far I haven't seen myself in it. I only see something that looks like an all. So now will I ever see myself? I don't know. I haven't been doing this long enough to, to be able to you know, tell you for sure. However, that um, just means that, you know, everything, everyone may be a little different. This is what works for me, and this may be what um, Sifu James' experience is. So the main thing is you would see color. And so the more you do the breathing, the, any of the three or four breathing exercises that I've shared with all of you in the past couple of weeks, when you start to do those, then you would, um, you would you know, start to see the color changing and improving. And um, so that's how I experience it. And um, okay, and the other thing that I want to share is that you know, apart from the color, seeing the color, is that the sensation is um, when I start to you know, play with the all. So what happens is when I start to do the orb activation, I would actually feel a pressure around the real eye. So it's like energy is coming out. So that is what I feel. And, and so, um, because my hands are quite sensitive, so I, I, I don't always see the orb. Sometimes I would see some color. I would see the, 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 the purple orb. I would see it. Um, spinning in front of me. Sometimes I don't. But sometimes, a lot of the times, I do see that. Um, however, even when I don't see it, see the color, I would always be able to feel that there is something there. So it's um, maybe about 10 inches in diameter. So that's how, that's my experience of it. And also, I would feel that there is a pressure around the real eye area. And also um, when we started doing the, what we did last week, which was to um, activate the fourth eye, fifth eye, sixth eye, and seventh eye. When, when we do that, I actually see yellow um, faster and easier. So that's my experience of it. And also I feel my crown chakra when I do that. Um, that kind of is like the lotus breath, which is opening of the four, five, six, and seventh eye together with the real eye. So five, when we do that, then I really feel the um, the crown area very active. I could feel that the energy is whirling and it's really strong. So that is um, what I, my own experience of it. And also, when when you're when you notice the the, the color that you see is um, I would see that the, yes there's a background color and then there is an orb the orb color so the the orb color just like pretty much pretty fast like once I started breathing in through the the real eye it would you turns to purple and then the, the long when I start to do the the you know, four five six and seven of the eye together it will turn to yellow and then more golden yellow very fast so 
and um, that's how you know that you know what whatever it is you're doing is working. When you are uh, when you notice that your all color is um, if it is green, dark green, or black color or gray color, then um, keep on just releasing and working on yourself. It is once when you can get into more of the, the purple, blue, purple, and yellow color, then if you choose to, you can start to use your soul energy to um, work with people around you if you if you want to like um, people as in you know family members or you may want to clean up the energy in your room your house then you can you can do that as well so work on yourself first make sure your own all gets to or the color that you see the main color you see gets to at least um, a, a purple or blue or purple and yellow is even better the, the the more it goes towards the, the the golden yellow, the better it is. However, you know, just um, it's it's fairly quickly though. My own experience is it it goes fairly quickly if you um, practice consistently, meaning that you at least do 15, 10, 15 minutes of working with your your all just 10, 15 minutes a day for you know a couple of weeks then you would really see results quite fast so it's not something that you know takes years and years of practice so that is that is good and I do find that when I release um karma and all those it actually I feel lighter feel happier so those of course are just incentive for you to do more so questions so far before I move on? Questions, comments? So any of you tried it and see color? And any, um, any trouble in seeing color or you haven't tried it or you're not sure there is color? Anything like that? No comment. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I think I can see some color. Okay. Well, it's it does not matter what color you see. The, the important thing is um, when you do those meditations, we start to breathe into the, the real eye, and especially if you do the fourth, fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh, notice the shifts in the color. Mm -hmm. Notice the I, I kind of see um, lots of colors on the background, so it's not the a continuous color so that that's a bit confusing if i really how you say uh, breathe and force myself then i can isolate the colors but for the first few moments when i don't work with myself that's what i see a lot of colors on a different background every time mm -hmm. yeah. um see if you can notice that there is something in the middle that represents um your all mm. so i can see my all even with my eyes open not as clearly as when my eyes are closed so um so try to see if you can like that's that's um it's the next step is to try to see if you can see the orb with your eyes open so it practice it with your eyes closed to see if you notice that in in the middle there is 
a um, something that is either ball of of energy that represents your all or something like that. So kind of notice that because that will start to train your eyes to be able to see the all even with your eyes open. Is it uh, very, very important to see it? Because uh, the, my question is that I I mostly feel it than more, I feel it more than I see it. It's not important that you see. Um, so it depends. Like you don't have to see it to work with it. You don't have to see it in order to you know use it to heal other people or places and things you don't have to see it to to be able to do that um it is it, it really depends on um how how much importance you attach to seeing if you don't care if you don't see it then that's fine then just work on um being able to feel it because mm -hmm. i can feel be my all much easier than I can I can see it however well seeing I like to be able to see it as well mm -hmm. so it's just for me it's more of a challenging myself so it's mm -hmm. um, yeah I, I I know that my my sense of you know clairvoyance is not as strong so for me it's just challenging myself to get better at it because being able to feel is also a way of seeing it's just you're not seeing with your eyes you're just seeing with your arms with your hand or yeah still still seeing thank you you're welcome any uh, anybody else any other questions i, I don't i don't see that and i i actually um don't feel it but i imagine that or coming and then coming back back home do you feel any pressure around your real eye area i feel it's... something here yeah okay that's but good. very very light okay that's good that's a start that's a start so the the more you do it the stronger the energy is going to be Okay. So so at so especially if you do the the exercise from last week, which is four, fifth, sixth, and seventh eye together. So meaning that you can bring in energy fast, like more energy, and, and you know focus it uh, and in your sacral area. So when we do that, then it actually. Um, you're not just breathing through one eye, you're breathing through five eyes. So it's like you are five times stronger or, or easier to pull in the energy. So I would suggest if you want to, if that's your goal to um, you know, get to a point where you can actually see, then do the, then the exercise for you would be to practice the five together and then you know um i feel like when we started to do that um you know to activate our soul energy uh my i i, I started to feel my intuition better you know i feel that i don't need to go there today or i have to stay home or i or, or opposite i have to go And it's come up like it's true. Excellent. <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you, Vinny. So, yeah, so that's good. That's very, very good. That's your, that's your reward for doing that, increasing the soul energy. Anyone else? Okay, qu question. Um... And this is about when you close your eyes. If, if, if I, in the past, I've noticed if I'm looking, like if I'm in a lot of light, I see red. 
but when there's not a lot of light, I see sort of purple. Um, is that the function of the eye or is it the soul? So energy doing its work. Um, it's a bit of both. Because when you just close your eyes and you start, and you're just looking, then yes, you would see red. But when you start to do the breathing, that's when I would start to see other colors coming in. Okay. So, and it's the same light. Because usually I would, you know, meditate in the same place, same lighting for um, the duration of my the, the exercise is at first it will be red yes but then once I start doing the breathing then other then uh, other okay. colors come in then you know that okay that's not the lighting that is just is the, the the energy that is being translated into colors into your eyes okay thank you okay good Okay, so now let's um, let me action. So talked about the colors. We talked about the different colors and different ways to start to clean ourselves up. And now we um, just want to talk a little bit more about doing released work or clearing up trauma. Um, so let me actually share screen again so that you guys can see this. Okay, so let's talk more about working with the all. Um, so at first, when you start to do the breathing exercise, working with the all, the, the first thing is to really um, get how to control the all. You know, when you start to control, uh, learn how to control the all. So very simple is to just activate the all and have it being um, out of you about, you know, okay, hang on. So at first you just um, activate the all. So the all is really your soul energy within you, within you around the zero point. So when you activate the all and then have the orb come out through your real eye so that it's kind of in front of your real eye and maybe um, about 10, 10 inches or so in front or maybe eight inches in front. So it, it will be like a, the, an orb in front of your real eye. So around, you know, basically around, um, let's see. So, so it will, it will not be you know, up there. It will be usually in the like underneath, but below your your real eye area. So this is my real eye area. So it will be somewhere around here, maybe about um one. You know, so if I have my my palm, you know, um all stretched out, it will be around that. So in front of my Eye, eyes and my face it will be around there so at the tip of you know, one span of my hand when I try to stretch it out so it will be around there when you activate the orb it will start to come out and I will feel the, the energy push being coming out from real eye area so very simple exercise to start to learn how to control your orb. The reason why we want to control our orb is at some point you may want to, like when your orb gets to be yellow, uh, purple, yellow, or even golden, yellow air, then you can start to 
send you all out to heal other people that may not be you know, right next to you. So, so you need to first at least um, learn how to control your off. So the very simple exercise is to have the orc come out and then tell the orc to go home. Okay, so just come out, so orc activate and it will come out. And then, you know, just orc go home. So it will, so just, just do that and come out and then go back home. Home is zero point, go back to your zero point. Okay, and the other thing is, um, the other thing to do is to um, get your orb to go where you want it to go. For example, you know, orb move to the right. This, this is to my right. Or move to the left. So kind of, um, if you can see your orb, you'll be able to see whether it's actually moved or when you close your eyes, you can actually see that the orb is you know, going to one side and then going to the other side or wherever the side is you want it to go. So just ask the orb to you know move in the different directions and see if the orb does that. So that is um, some of the exercise that you can go through to establish that relationship that you have with your orb so that your orb will start to know how to um, do the things that you want it to do. Very simple things like, you know, go come out or go back in, move left, right, up and down. So those things. So, okay. And after you have established that um, rapport, that relationship with your orb, then the other thing is you start to do how to do releasing karma. So we've done quite a bit of that. So it is really just um, karma release activate and then not mind release activate. So so when you say that, notice like karma release activate. So notice the color of your or if you can see color and see if there's any shift. My experience is every time I do a karma release, I would see uh, a lot of the times I would see at least um, at, at least the first time I would see that, I say that I would see green coming out. And green usually means is other people's energy or other people's thought forms that you have taken in and adopted. Uh, so that that's what the green is. I would usually see when I when I say you know karma release activate. I would see you know a, like a splash of green coming out. So is to really notice. And if you don't see it, if you don't see color, and you don't see the orb yet. Is to really feel within your body. Do you feel that there is any shift? Do you feel any movement of energy? within yourself because the, the more I would release karma, the I would say the lighter I feel or the happier or more open that I feel. So even without seeing this splash of colors changing, shifting and getting to be more closer to golden yellow, I would um, besides the color shift, I also feel it in my own body as well. So those are the things that I highly suggest you notice. So don't just say the command and you know, just imagine. So don't imagine, notice. Notice how you feel. So that is your feedback of whether the orb, your orb is really doing what it is. That you've set it up to do. So feedback. So don't don't imagine just if if nothing happens, um, then you will know. Then then we can start to troubleshoot what is the problem. It could be that you need to you know um, strengthen your soul more before you're doing that, or maybe you forget a command. So like um, sometimes I forget to 
to activate the world pool. Because the world pool is really what will transmute the energy. So sometimes I forget because I don't know. There are days when I I'm busy doing other things and all of a sudden I say, oh, let me, I I have to do that. Then so there are times I may forget some things. So and then and then I would just you know do the release and it's like how come there's nothing working it's uh, taking so long like usually it only takes you know, 10 seconds but how come today it takes a whole minute to even see any shift so so when you are not relying on your imagination when you're actually observing the feedback then you would know what is happening or not happening then you can um, think of ways to shift it so um what else can i share with that um i think that's really the the, the biggest point is to start to do the release work because um, i do find that um when i start to do the release work i feel the shift in my day-to-day -day life and things are just getting easier and easier and I'm feeling lighter and lighter. Okay. <clears throat> um, so how to re release the karma? What Sibu James has mentioned is that first you release current life. So he has it that we should, you know, really go and see. Um, so because you know Sifu James himself is a great he can see energy, so so he insists that we try to see the all. And um what it looks like is let's see, let's see if I can. So <clears throat> so it's a little depending on the color, so it's like something like this you would see kind of an egg shape and there are rings to it so so this is one version and then this is another version is that you see you actually see yourself in the middle and you would see rings around it so the way the rings work is that um, the future lives you can work with future lives too it's actually at the outermost so kind of like the, the, the first layer would be future and then the one uh, following that would be present and then the past lives. So first past life, second past life, all the way into, you know, how, um, like if you've been here a thousand times, then you will have a thousand past life in theory. Okay, you may not be able to see a thousand rings but uh, usually um, is to work with the first three. So working with the first three past lives. So that is what he recommended because um, when he has done the work, he has it that um, it's like the first two, after he worked with the releasing the karma and all that, he actually see what he looked like in those past life, like the, he would see it. And uh, usually the first three is the, the three that in his experience is the easiest to get to, to, to work with. The others is harder to um, be able to figure out you know, which is which. So, Sifu James kind of insists or try to encourage us to see, be able to see the rings. And I've seen the rings. Uh, I don't always see it. However, um, I have seen a couple of times. So I my my own clairvoyant is not as strong as Sifu James. So I don't always see it. But when I work with the first and the second past life and after a while I did manage to get a glimpse of what I looked like in those past life 
So there would be a an image of a face on that um, that I kind of know that is me. So it will be, so I've seen the first past life and the second past life, what I looked like in them. The third past life I didn't see, but I do get information from that. So I know first past life, I was a woman. And then the second past life, it was a man and it was, um, I was Italian. And then the, um, the third past life, I was still Italian, but I was a woman. So, you know, and I kind of know a little bit about um, what was going on in all of those three past lives. So that's my experience. I'm not saying that you all have to have explained that. However, this is what can happen or may happen. <clears throat> In your first past life, you also was Italian? No, I was not Italian. Um, I think I was more, um, I was Oriental, but not Chinese. It's so interesting. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, so that, when you yeah. say the first three uh, past, uh, second and third, you mean the most recent ones, correct? Okay. Correct, yes. The most recent. Hmm? So, and I've also um, been experimenting with not specifying so instead of you know first past life second past life is to say let's say okay abundance for example or it could be relationship so is to use um an issue that you want to work with in this current life it could be anything let's say it is relationship then you could say that okay i my relationship with my my mom is um for example, so I want wanting to um, release more of that, you know, karmic relationship is how to do that. So it may not be the 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 most recent three past life. It could have been something that happened, I don't know, 20 lifetimes ago or 50 lifetimes ago. Who knows? So what um, we can do is actually say, okay. I don't know, I consciously don't know, you know, how many lifetimes me and my mom had been at it and when the dynamic was uh, established. But my soul knows. I don't consciously know, but I know my soul knows because my soul has access to Akashic record, to my Akashic record. So my soul knows. So that's what I rely on is to um, just... To let my soul know that, okay, I want to work on my relationship with my mother. And so set that intention. So what I usually do is to find, have my soul to find the first lifetime that I, that kind of set up that dynamic that I have with my mother. So, so the first, usually the first incident or the first time we, met each other and we kind of um, hit it off let's say in quotation the first time when we hit it off that's when we start that dynamic going then when we release on the first incident it actually makes the rest much easier to fall off so I work on the first incident so I would tell my my um so that I, that's what I want to do. I want to work um, with my relationship with my mom. And I want to find the first lifetime that has set up this dynamic with my, who, the person who is my mom in this current life. So my soul would know. Okay. So all I have to do is to let my soul know that that is the lifetime what we work with. And I don't need to know which lifetime it is, but I, my soul knows so have my soul activate that lifetime so then the rest of this is to just you know, 
karma release for that lifetime with my um, my mother's relationship pattern with um, activate. So that is what I can do to work on a specific issue rather than a specific lifetime. And I find that that helps. So that's what I've been experimenting with. So did I explain that um, clearly enough? Yes, thank you. So I can do the same with my daughter relationship. You can do that. Yep, absolutely. So just so work with your soul. So just do the breathing exercise, really make sure that your soul energy is, um, you know, strong enough. And, and then have that um, understanding with your soul that you want to go to the first lifetime that you and your current daughter has established that relationship. And just work, so activate that lifetime. And then release karma from that lifetime, release not mine, not mine, release, activate. So just do those and just feel the release. So notice and see if you can notice whether you have any feedback from your body or maybe color. So just notice that. So for how long we should do that, uh, Vinny? Like, can you explain more, please? Um, what was the first part of your question? For how long? Like you said, you go to the first and then second, or how does it work? I don't know. So work on the first one until you really feel, until you really feel light and clear. So um, I can see the color. So I, I, I would work on relationship with my mother until I can see the orb color is really, you know, nice yellow color, like strong yellow color. When I see that, then I know that, okay, good. Then that's all I can do this time. Mm. And next time I would go visit, revisit that again and see if there's anything else that I can release and if there's nothing then then you would actually see that the um the orb color um like it's kind of there's not a lot of change it's already a nice color mm -hmm. okay so you release karma and what else not mine so karma release activate not mine Meaning that, you know, it's a lot of times we um, adopt beliefs that are in the culture, could be, or in the society, and each society is different. Mm -hmm. So, however, they, they, are, they are the society's um, standard, but they are not your soul standard. However, right. because you want to fit in, you want to, to to live, you want to be supported, so you kind of adopt it, but it's exactly. actually yours. So mm -hmm. you release those as well. So mm -hmm. not mine, release, activate. Not mine, release, activate. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see, what else did I miss? One more question. Sure. Is there such a thing as we can say release the root cause? You can say that, yeah. Okay. Because sometimes you may not know consciously. Yeah. You may not, but your soul. Your soul knows. Your soul will know, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
So, so a lot of things that you can do just um, working on yourself. And um, one more thing your soul can do, well, your soul can do a lot more, but um, I'm just going to cover one more is to um, tune your DNA. Because our DNA really has all of the um, ancestral lineage being downloaded, um, all the the ancestors that you know and also ancestors that you don't know of. So tune your DNA. And so you can you can also do you can also say tune DNA activate as well. So that is usually um will work on more physical symptoms. So um, one another thing you can do is just say tune DNA activate. So that would um, work on clearing any, let's say any any um, physical or emotional baggage that comes that's already within your DNA. And can you repeat it? Tune, DNA activate? DNA activate, yeah. And and at the beginning, tune? Like tuning at the beginning? Uh, what, what do you mean? The command, uh, how you started. Tune, DNA activate? Yep. Tune DNA activates. Let me get this. Yes, get this. Um, yeah. Tune DNA activates. Thank you. Okay. Questions, comments so far? If not, then um, actually. Um, I'm sorry. So, mm -hmm. again, about this comment tune, then I activate. Um, so, we release um really not mind release activate then karma release activate and then with this command we're doing so DNA also like uh renews we're renewing DNA with this command. So yeah, that's yes. Thank you. No more questions. All is well. Okay. And then why don't we do a meditation?